Tanzania, Hong Kong, Bolivia, Namibia, Taiwan, Brazil. A century ago, a small group of courageous women saw suffering in the world and were not content to stand aside and let it happen. Led by Mary Josephine Rogers, they founded the Missionary Congregation of Mary Knoll Sisters in 1912. They began venturing into immigrant neighborhoods in Los Angeles, then Seattle, to help the needy. In 1921, they were invited to do mission work in Hong Kong, in China, and eventually all around the world. In each of the communities, the sisters worked to realize the dream of their founder, now known as Mother Mary Joseph, to help others find a fuller sense of life by fulfilling both human rights and spiritual needs to engage with the whole person, body, mind, and spirit. Each sister brings her own distinctive gifts and holiness to the task of reflecting God's love in communities around the world that are equally unique. While the global issues have changed, you know, the women I work with are uh, victims of human trafficking. To teach other ways of working the land that's, that's not destructive. Our work at the UN is to give a voice to the concerns of the people around the world who often don't have a voice. The passion burns as brightly as it did 100 years ago. It is that kind of devotion that illuminates the future for people of need, the world over. Mary Knoll sisters, women of faith, energy, spirit, and humanity determined to make a difference in the next century. Making God's love visible. <laughs>